We celebrated Veterans Day a week ago, but there's a program that reminds us men and women who've served in the military deserve to be honored throughout the year, especially in the last days of their lives. The title of the program says it all. David Person's father fought in the South Pacific during World War II and died when David was three years old. Uh, so I have a soft spot in my heart for our veterans. Persons volunteers for a program called No Veteran Dies Alone. Mr. Hufford, I'd like to thank you for your service. It includes things just like watching a football game. Uh, I've taken some veterans to church on occasion uh, and just visit with them. At the Oak Park Arms Assisted Living Center, all of these veterans are more than 80 years old. Sam Rosenthal is 97 and earned a Purple Heart in Italy during World War II. Shrapnel hit me in the leg and the knee. And someone asked me, what did you do when that happened? Well, what I did was I cursed because <laughs> I had promised my wife that I would not get hurt. Oh. Today, Rosenthal says his family visits often, but he knows others who are not so fortunate. They're not with their family or their families are gone. Yes. And uh, they're lonesome. Judith Mintz works for a hospice center and sees a sad irony. When they serve, they're, they're never alone. There's a real camaraderie and a real sense of being with other people and supporting each other, and you wonder where that support has gone. Many of their family members and friends have died, so David Person says a little companionship now is the perfect way to say thank you for your service. Everyone that has a little time on their hands uh, should give back to the community, and this is a good way of doing that. There are more than a dozen VA hospitals across the country that have the No Vet Dies Alone program, including the Jesse Brown Medical Center here in Chicago. If you would like to volunteer, go to CBSChicago.com and click.